Good afternoon and welcome back. They are asking me to find the equation of the line perpendicular to y minus x equals 5 and which goes through point 28. Now that's a lot of information and let's highlight in some of those keywords. So I have to find an equation of a line and it has to be perpendicular to this equation or this function and it has to go through point to 8. Alright, fantastic. And then I start thinking, I have to make a construct, find an equation of a line. And then I start digging in my brain. What did I learn about constructing equations of lines? I have learned the gradient intercept format, the general equation of a linear equation. Y equals mx plus c. Have a look at one of my previous videos where I explain this in more detail. Eh? Y equals mx plus c, the gradient, and that is the y-intercept. That's why we call it the gradient intercept form. Yeah? Okay, and then in other situations, then we had to calculate that gradient. Eh? They gave us two points, but now they only give me one point. So can I calculate the gradient? No, I can't. Can I see the gradient by looking at a line? No, I can't. But they tell me it has to be perpendicular to y minus x equals 5. And they give me that information for a reason. And why do they give that to me? Yes, because lines, when they are perpendicular, I remember, then their gradients are each other's negative reciprocals. All right, sorry, that was a little bit mysterious uh, um, how I said that. What does that mean? y minus x equals 5. Yeah? So this line has to be perpendicular to that line. Now what is the gradient of this line? I can't see that yet because it's not written in gradient intercept form. So I rearrange it, y equals x plus 5. So what is the gradient of this line? That is the coefficient of x, which is 1. Okay, so the gradient of this line is 1. And then the gradient of the line I'm looking for is the negative reciprocal of 1. Now reciprocal, that's a word I can hardly pronounce myself, eh, being Dutch. So I always say, well, we turn eh, the reciprocal, then we have a fraction. And then the reciprocal is when we turn the fraction around. So the denominator goes at the top and the numerator at the bottom. Now, do not get confused now, because what happens if I find the reciprocal now, if I turn it around, it is 1 over 1. There you go. But the gradient of this line is not just the reciprocal of the gradient of that line, it is the negative reciprocal. So I just put an arrow there. So the gradient of my line is minus 1 over 1. And that is minus 1. So the gradient is minus 1x, plus c. Now, all i got to do now, and we've done that many times already, is to find that y-intercept. Now sometimes they give me the y-intercept in the question, they don't now. However, they tell me it has to go through point 2, 8. So when y is 8, then x is 2. One equation, one unknown, I can solve that. Yeah, 8 plus 2 equals c, which is 10. So the equation of the line, which is perpendicular to y minus x equals 5, and which goes through point 2, 8, is the equation y equals minus x plus 10. So what I had to do first was to rewrite this equation in gradient intercept form, so I could see the gradient. Then I took the negative reciprocal of that because that will be the gradient of my perpendicular line. And then I used that point, evaluated the equation to find my y-intercept, which is 10. So the gradient, the line is y minus x, y equals minus x plus 10. Now, really do yourself a favor. Can you please graph these two lines yeah, and then you will see for yourself that they are perpendicular. All the best.